Hello, welcome to another video of the complete Angular course. In the last video, we took the post data from Firestore and displayed it in the post feed page. In this video, we'll add to it and display the creator's information in the header section of your post. We'll also create the reply components so others can leave comments on the post as well. If you have not already, subscribe to the channel and follow along in this project. To begin, Open the project from where we left off in the last session. Go to the post component TypeScript file. Import the Firebase TS Firestore class and create a Firestore object. To find a function called get creator info. The purpose of this function is to retrieve the information of the user who created the post. Inside the function, grab the Firestore object and call the get document method. If we take a look at our data in Firestore, our user's data is in a collection called users, and each set of data inside is called a document. That's why we're using the getDocument method. For the path, use users to access the user's collection, and then get the creator ID from the post data. Then add the onComplete callback function to get the document. Under the post data input, add a string called creator name and another string called creator description. In the onComplete callback function, get the data by grabbing the result object and call the data method. Then store in a variable called user document. If we take a look at our user documents, there's a field called public name and description. To get them in our code, Grab the user document object and access the public name and description properties. Then store them in the two variable that was created earlier. In the ng on init function, call the get creator info function. Go to the post component HTML page. Use interpolation to bring in the user's name and description. If we save the project and go to the browser, we will see the creator's information for each post. Now let's create the reply component. In our design, if we click on the chat bubble icon, a dialog will show up and allow users to leave comments on the post. Each comment will have the name of the user who left the comment, and the comments that you leave behind will have a different style. Open the terminal and create a component called reply, and put it in the tools directory using the ng-generate-component command. Once the component is created, go to the reply component HTML page. Add a paragraph element for the title of the reply dialog. Add a div element underneath and call it reply box. After the reply box, add a div and call it reply action bar. Inside the action bar, add a button and an input element. For the button, apply the matte flat button style to it, 
has set the color to warm. For the content, use the send icon from Angular Material. Go to the reply component CSS file and create the selectors for reply box, reply action bar, and input. For reply box, set the width to 100%, height to 300 pixels, overflow to auto to get the scroll effect, min width to 400 pixels, max width to 600 pixels, and add a left and right padding of 1M. Do not forget to set the box sizing to border box so it will calculate the paddings. For reply action bar, set the width to 100%. Display to grid. And the grid template columns to 3M and 1FR. By setting the columns to 3M and 1FR, we'll have the button with a fixed size and an input with a flexible width to fill in the remaining spaces. Lastly, give it a top margin of 1M. For input, set the padding of 1M, 2M, 1M, and 1M. Border to 1 pixel solid gray. Outline to none and width to 100%. Also set the box sizing to border box so it will calculate the paddings. Go to the post component HTML page. Attach a click event to the chat bubble action item. Go to the post component TypeScript file and define a function for the click event. Import the math dialog class from Angular Material and inject it inside the constructor. In the onReplyClick function, grab the dialog object, call the open method, and pass in the reply component. If we save the project and go to the app, our reply component is almost finished. Go back to the reply component CSS file. For the action bar, set the direction to RTL. It stands for right to left. This will stack the contents of the grid starting from the right. If we go to the app now, the position of the button and input is swapped. The next thing we need to do is to change the direction of the input back. That's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. In the next video, we add the function to add the comments and also display in the reply box section. See you in the next video.